So we're here with IMEC. So who are you? Uh, so my name is Kathleen Phillips. I'm a program director at IMEC. What is IMEC? IMEC is a non-for-profit research institute. So we work with uh, companies across the world. And where are you um, based? We're based in, in Belgium and Netherlands. And like 95% of our income is coming from bilateral partnerships with industry where we do research on um, these days, especially the IoT uh, applications, uh, so the low power technologies that you need for communication and sensing. So here's, uh, on, the, on the wall, you're showing uh, cloud computing, data analytics, uh, heterogeneous net networking, lots of different stuff, yeah. wireless sensor network platform. Is this what you do? What do yes, you what do you do with this? It's at the heart of what we do. So I would say traditionally we've been focusing on the sensor nodes and making them lower power, eh? right? longer battery lifetimes. Uh, so we've been uh, designing so a few radio modules, like two four gigahertz. One is uh, still what's lowest power uh, energy device. So it's BTLE. It's a multi-standard BTLE, uh, Zigbee, and proprietary mode. And over there we have a long range uh, seven gigahertz uh, variant. So that's more for the outdoor. Uh, Sensors. And you design on TSMC? Do you use yes. ARM processors in there? We use ARM processors in there. What it's kind of use, CPU uh, you have? Uh, so it has M0 Plus and M3. It's is the type of processor that we use in inside. So low power? Servers. It's low power. It's uh, also industry standard, something which is a reference platform to, to any of the, the companies in the field. For the fields. software also? The software is, is a big advantage. Of course. So, so today our, our contribution to the software is limited, although we're climbing up there. Uh, but it's very important for the um, for our customers that we use industry reference platforms. In fact, like uh, arguments of, of uh, let's say in limited efforts on software porting is an important one there. So they want right. to stick to the processors that they know, and on top of that, they want to have the state of the art technology. So what are you showing here at the at the show? The, the, what's 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 this? Uh, so this movie is basically uh, showing the potential of our ion sensors. So that is a very low cost printed technology where you can do pH sensing and various ions. Uh, so it's liquids. printed? It's a printed technology, it's a printed for ions. It's also biocompatible, so, so well fit for food monitoring. Uh, it can also be used for dehydration monitoring. It's bendable, so you can also uh, like stick it on the skin. We have uh, plasters uh, as for as, uh, Is this real or is just uh, samples uh, testing? What is this? These ones are, are uh, real samples, so you can connect them to a wireless readout, and then you can read out the pH of any solution, milk, uh, water, uh, whatever you have doubts on. So printed electronics is a big part of IoT in the future? Well, for sure it is for the low-cost uh, applications, uh, so that really enables all the sensors that are going to put the data on the internet. Uh. So IoT is about connected things, but first of all, you need to have low-cost... So how, uh, how far is IoT? I mean, uh, there is IoT already, and there is lots of IoT in the future. What is, uh, what is going on in the industry? I would say today IoT is, is, is limited to just monitoring. If you really want to have the comfort of IoT, you somehow need to make this closed loop and give the, the consumer um, comfort. It needs to be intuitive. It needs to be, let's say, without human interaction. And, and we're not there yet. Uh, so you see a lot of nice uh, examples, like the smart fridge is a very well-known one. But on the end, in the end, I, I believe that that the value uh, is still limited in those applications because they're still uh, well. It's limited at the value. Uh, so you have other examples in industry where, in the end, you're going to have a lot of um, also uh, energy saving, uh, expense saving, maintenance saving, and there I, I see true value on the short term of, of IoT. You showing stuff uh, here about uh, some trains with IoT or? This demo is about uh, air quality monitoring. Yeah, I believe the computer yeah. has gone to power down. But so yeah. basically, what we do here, we have a few um, wireless sensor nodes inside of the train, inside of the tunnel, uh, and the demo is uh, basically showing that if you put the train inside of a, of a tunnel where there's some pollution, you can have a live readout of, of uh, NO2, CO2, VOCs, and so on. So air quality is, is, is uh, an application which is increasing in importance, both for indoor applications as well as, as outdoor. So you would say you're a non-profit? We're not for profit So yes, this uh, part of the universities, or what is this? No, it's, it's, uh, it's an independent organization. We have uh, like 94% of our income comes from bilateral collaborations with big industrial companies. So all the semiconductor companies of this world, all the, the fab uh, companies, uh, we work with them. It's very important for IoT that there needs to be some kind of a platform that works, right? Yeah, yeah. So we definitely take the platform approach. Um, 
a technical platform, also a platform in terms of ecosystem. So IMIC works with hundreds of companies in this space and also acting there as a neutral uh, partner that brings together both uh, IDMs, OEMs, uh, SEMIs, um, research institutes, so we really are a link between academia, re industry and, and various uh, partners in the ecosystem. So how many people on IMEC? And since so when IMEC is, is it uh, as a whole existing? It's 2,300 people. Uh, a lot of industrial residents. So 2,000? Yes, a few hundreds of uh, industrial residents. Uh, uh, people coming from their company work with us and act as an uh, uh, ambassador to bring the knowledge uh, at IMEC into their company. We have been founded in 1984, so that's over 30 years of, of uh, existence. 30 years working on what? Uh, we initially started with process technology, like all the CMOS um, processes. Uh, we worked there with all the leading foundries of this world, uh, so TSMC, Global Foundries, all the other, uh, basically all the foundries. That is our historical uh, core business. But since like 15 years, we've been building our reputation on, on uh, wireless, for instance, IC design, circuit design, and these days we're climbing up, taking on board also the software and the system aspects of IoT.